Today I am back with a good old fragrance haul for you all. Some of these I have worn and a couple I have not even smelled yet. So we will smell those together here on camera. If you're interested in seeing the items that I picked up and just keep watching. get into the fragrances I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here my name is Aisha I make videos about fragrance beauty luxury and lifestyle if those are things you're into please consider subscribing and if you are a returning subscriber hey y'all welcome back to my channel so I have quite a few fragrances to share with you all and this is a collective haul so these are items that I have added to my collection over the past two months some of them I have not smelled yet like ones I just got yesterday <laughs> But all the other ones I have worn and can tell you a little bit about. So I'm not going to go in any particular order except for the two that I just got yesterday. We're going to save those for the end. But other than that, we're not going in any particular order. I'm just going to pull out of my little box of fun over here. Also, just to let you know that some of these items were gifts, um, but not from a company or anything from my husband. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. So the first item that I have here is from the brand Kayali, and this is their newest edition. This is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. This has been all over Instagram and YouTube. So many people are loving it. Let me show you guys what the bottle looks like. So there it is there, this beautiful mirrored pink bottle. I love it. It's in the same shape as all the Kayali bottles. This fragrance is gorgeous, so I'm not even mad at all the hype it's getting. It is a gorgeous rose scent but a very sweet rose and it also has oud in there I believe or at least it smells like it has oud and then there's also saffron so it gives it that certain like bit of intrigue in my opinion I love it um I do think it smells kind of similar to some other fragrances that I've smelled but I think it's done really really well and to me when I smelled this initially I thought it smelled like mfk oud satin mood and I still think it smells similar but I don't think they're dupes and I, I really, really like this one. If I had to compare it to any fragrance, I would definitely say that's the one that I think it's most similar to. But I think the Kayali one smells a bit more feminine than the Oud Satin Mood. So I love this, y'all. I love it. If you're thinking about getting it, get it, girl. <laughs> now, I don't know that this was probably like the best time of year to release this fragrance because I feel like this is more of a fall winter scent. However, I have worn this and I think I wore it to work and i was perfectly good with it now i work in air conditioning so i didn't overspray it i just sprayed it like a normal person and i loved it i really enjoyed wearing it the next fragrance is one that i have been wanting to try since it came out and i just started seeing it available in the u.s so i saw it at nordstrom and i was able to go in and smell it and i have to say i love it y'all this is from mason margella replica line and this is matcha meditation so this is supposed to smell like a matcha green tea i believe i don't drink matcha i have tried it before but i don't like the taste of it um and i don't like the look of it either like a matcha latte um so i don't drink it so i'm not super familiar with the smell but I definitely think this has an herbal nature to it that smells like tea, but then it's mixed with like a chocolatey uh, finish. I believe there's white chocolate, a white chocolate accord in this. And you can definitely smell it from the very beginning. As this fragrance dries down, I feel like the matcha goes away a little bit and then you're kind of left with the white chocolate finish with some florals to it and like a hint of the, what I think is the matcha tea smell. But it's gorgeous. I love it. I feel like it's very unique. I can't think of another fragrance that I have in my collection that smells like this. So I'm really happy to have this. I've only worn it one time, like fully worn it one time. So I can't really talk to you about longevity or projection or anything like that. Um, but I will be wearing this a lot more. And again, I kind of feel like this could have came out fall, winter. But at the same time, it's not so heavy with the white chocolate smell that I feel is out of place in this season. I'm still going to be wearing this. So this next fragrance, I don't have a box for because I purchased it from Mercari. But this is from Jo Malone and this is Vanilla and Anise. Now this was released quite a while ago, but recently she brought it back or the company bought it back and it was only and it's only available on the Jo Malone website. I was about to purchase it when I realized it was back. Not sure if it's still there, um, but if it is, I will link it. But yes, this is a beautiful vanilla and anise scent. So I'm not super familiar with the way that anise smells. However, I have another fragrance called Mandorlo di Sicilia. 
And that one is all about like almond and anise. So this one to me smells similar to that. And I think it's the anise in there. And I love it. So if you've smelled that before, that um, Mandorlo, Mandorlo di Sicilia, and you like it, you will probably like this one. I don't think they're exactly the same. To me, this one definitely smells a bit fresher, um, a little less sweet than the Mandorlo di Sicilia. To me, Mandorlo di Sicilia smells more of like that root beer vibe. This has less of that root beer, but it still has some of it there. And I think it's really, really pretty. So I can't wait to wear this more and see how it works on my skin. I've only worn this like one time to bed. So I haven't actually worn this one out of the house yet, but I'm excited to play around with this because I, I really like the scent of it so far. Another one that I ended up picking up from Mercari is from Dolce & Gabbana, and this is Dolce Shine. So y'all may have heard me talk about Dolce Garden and I love it. So that kind of inspired me to try this. But I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of this one. I mean, it's nice, it's pretty. To me, it smells better out of the bottle than it does when I actually wear it. Um, it's kind of that, it's supposed to be a coconut scent, I believe. And it does remind me of just like other coconut scents that I've smelled. They're not really heavy on coconut. They're more like coconut florals. Um, so if you've ever smelled Eau de Soleil Blanc, this kind of reminds me of this. Not Soleil Blanc. I love Soleil Blanc. Eau de Soleil Blanc, I like. This reminds me of that as far as how light it is and how the coconut is not overpowering. So if you're not a huge fan of coconut, but you like, you want to try like a tropical floral scent, this one may be one that you like. But for me, I just, I don't know. It's, it's okay. I don't know if I'm going to keep it though. I kind of feel like it's a little bit boring and I just, haven't really felt like reaching for it since I got it to be completely honest. So speaking of kind of boring scents, the other fragrance I want to share with you guys is just a sample bottle and it's actually broken but I'm going to show it to you guys so you probably can't see it. This is from Dior and this is Eden Rock. This was one of their like 7.5 ml bottles and my daughter dropped it broke it luckily i was able to sal salvage um, most of the fragrance i just decanted it into this travel spray this but i did purchase this um off mercari off somebody you know dior gives these free with a lot of their orders um different ones depending on what they have going on depending on how much you spend and so somebody was selling one and i really wanted to try this fragrance but i didn't want to spend the money on it because i i really didn't need to be spending the money on it at that time <laughs> so I'm glad I tried it, but like I said, I do think it's a bit boring. To me, it actually <laughs> reminds me of this fragrance. They don't smell exactly alike, but again, I'm like, I want more coconut. When you release these summer scents and they're supposed to be like coconut dominant, I expect to smell a lot more coconut. And for me, I don't know, this one just doesn't do it. Now I will say, sometimes with samples, I don't really trust my opinion because I feel like when you have a full bottle, you get more spray and maybe, you know, I just need to try this some more and I may fall in love. But as of right now, I'm really glad that I did not blind buy this because I would have been disappointed in it. I mean, it's nice. It's coconut, it's salty. Um, it kind of has a bit of a marine quality to it. It's not so sweet, so I definitely think a man could pull it off if, if a man is into wearing unisex scents. But I definitely think a woman can pull it off too. It also has some citrus in it. It's nice, but to me, it's just not, I don't know. I think I just expect it more. So I'm glad I didn't buy a full bottle, but I will wear my decant. And, you know, if I end up falling in love, then, you know, maybe I'll think about purchasing it. Uh, but as of right now, I'm glad I just had the decant. And when I say it reminds me of Dolce Shine, they're not dupes, but I just feel like they're kind of in that similar realm. So FYI. The next fragrance I have is actually from Dior, and this is part of the Maison Dior line. I've actually already shared this fragrance in a video, but I still want to include it in this haul. This is Rouge Trafalgar, and I think I included this in my most refreshing fragrances video, so I will link that. <laughs> but this is what the bottle looks like. I love it. Love the color of this. This is like a juicy raspberry fruity scent but it definitely has a little bit of greenness to it and it's not overly sweet this is not a super sweet sugary raspberry this is more like a tart raspberry with some watery elements to it and like i said a bit of greenness or floral touch 
yeah really good really fresh smelling so definitely great for hot weather um i do kind of feel like you can overspray this one but because the bottles are so big from dior i never feel bad about overspraying um anything from the line because like they give you so much this is 4.25 ounces that's a lot so <laughs> i've really been enjoying this one and like i said i will link the video where i shared this particular fragrance the next fragrance is one that I expect it to be like a juicy, watery rose. And I have to be completely honest, I'm not 100% sure about this fragrance and whether I'm keeping it or not. So this is none other than Parfums de Marley Delina La Rose. This is what the box looks like. And the bottle is oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I love the bottle on this. It's similar to all the other Delina bottles, but this one is transparent and it's gorgeous. It looks like the perfect summery rose scent. And that's why I picked it up. Y'all know I'm not the biggest fan of rose. Um, and I have smelled Delina. I'm not really a fan, but I'm not against it. And I do own Delina Exclusive. And I do really enjoy that one. So I am a fan of that one. But there's something in Delina, I believe it's the rhubarb. Um, that can it's a little bit too sharp for me and I feel like it gives me a headache and when I heard about this one I was very intrigued because I was under the impression that this was going to be more of a watery scent more sweet less tart than the original Delina and I have to say it is but it's not as watery as I would have hoped I want it to be more of a juicy rose scent kind of similar to dng limperatrice but with a rose twist to it that's what i was thinking when i purchased this and that's just not what i'm getting now it is a beautiful scent but i have to play around with it a little bit more i did get this on a deal because i purchased it used on mercari from somebody here in the fragrance community which was really cool i got a good deal on it so i'm happy about that that i didn't pay full price for this but it was still expensive um and I don't know i have to wear this a little bit more before i decide on whether or not i'm keeping it if any of you guys own this fragrance let me know what you think about it let me know if you think it's worth the money and let me know how you think it smells in comparison to the original delina and delina exclusive which one do you like the best but it is pretty and um yeah i just don't know if it's for me so next up is a fragrance that i actually came across in the outlet and I honestly wasn't interested in this fragrance, but it was on the 75% off rack. And so I just smelled it because I was there. I was in there to get something else and I saw it. So smelled it and I actually really, really like it. So this is from Michael Kors and this is Twilight Shimmer. So I feel like the one out of this line that everybody talks about is Midnight Shimmer. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but this one is Twilight Shimmer, and this was the one that, to me, stood out the most when I sniffed them in the store. So, I picked this up, and I have to tell y'all about this deal. I paid $28 for this, a full-size bottle. I believe this is a 100ml bottle. Yes, a 100ml bottle. I paid 20 I think like $28. I know it was definitely less than $29 so anywhere from like $25 to $28 but I think it smells really really nice I believe this has some plum in it this is a darker scent to me what I get when I smell it is a sweet plum note and vanilla it kind of smells like a sweet plum mixed with vanilla but like a deep vanilla so yeah not overly sweet but still very intoxicating. I really like the way this smells. Um, I'm not gonna lie, when I first smelled it, it reminded me very slightly of Tom Ford Black Orchid. Not a dupe or anything, definitely not a dupe, but it reminded me of it. I don't know why, because I don't think any of the notes are similar, but that's what it reminded me of. So, you know, that's my scent. That is my scent. So I really love this. It almost smells like a boozy plum and um, vanilla scent. So I'm really excited to play around with this more. I don't know anything about longevity or anything yet, um, but I have worn this to bed and really enjoyed it, but I don't know how it lasts on the skin. But for $28, I'm willing to take that chance. Next up is a fragrance that I have been loving. Now, again, I've only worn it probably twice, 
but this was definitely love at first sin for me. This is from Zerjoff and it's from the Cosmorati line and this is Dolce Amalfi. This has been on my list of scents to try from them for quite a while. And then recently I, I had marked it on a website to notify me when the small bottle came back in stock. And so when it came back on, in stock, I ordered it because it was a good price. And like I said, I've been wanting to try this for a while and I only wanted the small bottle because I mean, I don't need to keep buying big bottles of fragrance. <laughs> but this is what the bottle looks like, and it's cute. And after I got it and smelled it, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wish I got the big bottle because I love the way the scent smells. I think Nisha from Spicy Looks described this as a juicy fruit scent, like juicy fruit gum. And that is immediately what I got when I smelled it. <laughs> I don't know if it's the power of suggestion or what, but that's what I get on my skin when I smell it. So it's fruity and juicy, but it's also spicy. I believe there's cardamom in here. It also smell like, smells like there could be some cinnamon in here or a nutmeg. But at the same time, it's juicy and fruity and kind of like playful. I really enjoy this. Um, I've seen some people say that they can't wear this during the summer because it's too much, like the spice in it is too much. But I actually think it works well in the summer. I wouldn't overspray it, but just wearing it to like work or something, I really enjoy it. And I feel, I find that this fragrance gives me that cloud of smell <laughs> that I like to have. So I can smell this on myself the entire time I'm wearing it. I've only worn it a couple, maybe like three times or so. So I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to how long it lasts or anything like that. So you'll hear more about this fragrance though, I'm sure, because I love, love, love the way that smells. So. I'm super happy with that one. All right, so we're almost done. I have two more fragrances to share with you and I actually just received them in the mail yesterday. Yes, yesterday. So these I picked up from Beauty Habit. They were having a 20% off sale and they sell one of the fragrances that I've wanted to try for a while. And this fragrance, well, let me show you what it is first. So the fragrance that I'm talking about is Mango Skin from Wilhelm Perfumery. And this fragrance first came on my radar from Jeanne Antoinette here on YouTube. I remember her raving about it and I was super interested in trying it. And I just never could find it on sale. And something just always, whenever I would see it, something always like blocked me from buying it. <laughs> so Beauty Habit was having their 20% off sale and I was like, go get it, Aisha. Also, when I talked about Cruz del Sur from Zerjov, a lot of you guys recommended Mango Skin. Um, so yes, I picked it up. Um, also with that, they sent me a sample vial, but I wanna open the bottle. <laughs> they sent me a sample vial, I guess, to try, just to see if you like it before you actually open it. But YOLO, I'm opening the bottle, y'all. I'm gonna do it. So there's the box. All right, so it just lifts off like this and then you have your bottle of fragrance inside. I picked it up in the 50 ml size and I like the bottle on this, but I don't know. I kind of don't like bottles that are this wide just because I feel like they're a little bit harder to store. Um, and it looks so tiny, a little 50 ml size, but it's 50 ml. Um, so yeah, moment of truth, guys. I think I'm gonna love this, honestly, because everybody I've heard describe this it just sounds like something that I would really like. And I love the smell of mango. Mmm, that is good. Okay, so this definitely smells like mango. And it it smells like fresh mango, but not like overly ripe mango. Like mango that's just at the tip of becoming ripe enough to eat where it's still sweet, but still a little tart as well. I don't know. <laughs> this smells really good. It's very fresh smelling. Very refreshing. I like this. Okay. Okay. I get it, y'all. I get it. I really like this. I'm excited to play with this on my skin and see how it wears. But as of right now, I am loving the way this smells. This is more, if I compare this to Zerjoff, I mean, I haven't worn this yet. But if I compare it to Zerjoff Cruz del Sur, I say that that one smells like a creamy, milky, lactonic mango that is really ripe. Um, this one smells more like a fresher sweet mango mixed with a little bit of like grapefruit or something. 
I don't know, it smells a bit more tart and more, more citrusy than than um, Cruz del Sur. So yeah, so far I'm loving this and perfect for this time of year for me. So I have to play around with this and let you guys know what I think in a future video. I am, I have something planned that I'm gonna feature this fragrance in. So hopefully that'll be up within the next couple weeks. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to play around with that. I'm probably gonna wear this today, y'all. I'm not wearing any fragrance yet because usually when I do fragrance videos, I try not to wear anything because I feel like it interferes with what I'm smelling. The other fragrance I picked up from them is from the brand La Maison de la Vigny. And this is called Vigny Fleury de Tahiti. I believe I heard Jaime Antoinette talk about this fragrance as well, but she might have talked about another one in the line. Um, but I'm pretty sure she was the first person I heard mention this brand and that kind of got me looking into them. So when I saw it was on Beauty Habit and it wasn't that expensive, I went ahead and picked it up. So yeah, the regular price of this is only $35 looks like. Yeah, so not bad. And this is a one ounce bottle. So this is what the bottle looks like. So honestly, there's nothing to write home about. It looks very utilitarian, but again, it's only $35. So if I love the scent, then it'll be worth it. Okay, this is really good. Okay, so this is a sweet vanilla with tropical fruit. Like a sweet vanilla mixed with tropical fruits and flowers is what this smells like to me. It's kind of, it is really sweet, but it's also kind of like airy, where I think it would be perfect for the summertime. I really like this. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Yeah, this is really nice. Let me spray it on my hand a little bit. So on my hand, I definitely get more of the fruit smell coming out mixed with the vanilla. On the box, the vanilla smelled a little bit more prominent, but on my hand, the, the fruit kind of is a bit more prominent than the vanilla, but you can still smell the vanilla for sure. So yeah, I really like this and I think it'll be great for summer. This is like a nice summer vanilla. And the vanilla smells, even though this is not an expensive scent, I feel like the vanilla smells pretty expensive. So yeah, I'm excited to play around with this, y'all. They also sent me a bunch of samples, but I'm not going to go through all of those. Um, I'll play with those later. But that is it for my haul. I have some bangers here and a couple of disappointments or sort of disappointments. So let me know down below if you've tried any of these fragrances or if any of them are on your wish list or if you want to know more about any of these fragrances, let me know that as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow me over on Instagram. I'm trying to build my following over there and I really enjoy interacting with you guys. I'm typically able to get back to you quicker on Instagram than over here on YouTube so definitely check me out there thank you guys so much for watching this video i enjoyed making it and i will see you in the next one bye